All right, now let's check in with George Stephanopoulos for what's coming up on this week. Good morning, Brandon. Brandon, back to you. All right, George, thank you. You can see this week at 930 right after Inside Texas Politics. All right, it's 850 on this Sunday morning. We will be right back with a final check of your top stories, including a giant baby panda. Stay tuned for that. Well, we've all wondered this. Just imagine if dogs could talk. What would they say? Well, there's one in Arlington that would have a lot to share about his 800 mile journey across the country. Coco disappeared from Arlington in September and somehow showed up in Alpharetta, Georgia. Well, House Speaker Paul Ryan, he will be in Dallas tomorrow. The question, though, how did a Dallas minister get him to visit his church? Good morning to you. We are coming to you live from Victory Park in downtown Dallas. I am Brandon Hamilton in for Carla Wade alongside meteorologist Wes Houck. A lot of talk about oh, yeah. and the weather department. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, we do have some breaking news in Florida where overnight two suspected tornadoes killed at least two people and injured four children. All right, right now a mentally ill man accused of burglary just days after his release from a state hospital is currently being held without bail. This pending a new mental evaluation. But we want to make clear that officials say the prisoner exchange with Iran is not related to the nuclear deal. American hostages are on their way home in exchange for seven Iranians held in the U.S. The nation's capital has gone to the panda, not gone to the dogs, gone to the panda. <laughs> Check this out. Giant panda cub Bebe made her first public debut Saturday. We're turning now to what's trending this morning. It only seems fitting that two men would deliver this news. What are you doing? Just I'm checking on my ESPN stats right now. Oh, that's what you do on Sundays, yeah, huh? Yeah, checking on the football games. Well, there's news that <laughs> there's proof that men are the laziest on Sundays. I don't know why they think oh, that. I mean, Sunday football. I don't see any proof of that. I don't either. Researchers at the <laughs> University of Indiana found that weekends are the busiest days of the week for women. I don't believe in that. All you right. were just cleaning yesterday. I was just cleaning yesterday. <laughs> that is right. I do the cooking in my house. Okay. I do the cleaning. Sundays, here's here's what you have to do. It's so all about, the exception to this rule. It's this all about to... time management. Okay. So you're watching a football game. Yeah. During the commercial break, you go outside and you mow one strip of grass. <laughs> come, come back, back in. <laughs> next commercial break, go do another strip. By the end of the day, you have your yard. And, and your neighbors are like, what, what is, is going wrong with this what? guy? <laughs> We want to hear from you, though. Is this the truth in your household? Well, this week marks the 43rd anniversary of the landmark decision that legalized abortion, and thousands braved the cold to rally for life in downtown Dallas. And as News 8's Sebastian Roberts reports, they were all voicing their opposition. That was Chris Betts reporting there. Those stories just really put life into perspective. Don't let the little things get you down. Just make the most out of life every single day. What a story. What a woman. Her legacy will forever live on. Time now is 837 on this Sunday morning. Still ahead on daybreak. What was he thinking? The moment Tony Stewart confronted an off-duty cop in the stands. The story is coming up in sports. Wes? All right. What a day in sports. My heart is still pounding from that Cardinals-Packers game. Yeah. That last minute Hail Mary by Rodgers. I did. Well, I turned it off, and then I went downstairs to get, you know, get ready for bed. Uh -huh. Turned the, the game back on. Rodgers with that Hail Mary pass, caught it, went into overtime. I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. But I'm surprised you didn't miss anything because your fiance tells us that in between <laughs> commercial breaks, that oh, he yes. actually does do this. He actually goes and works on stuff around the house. Do the dishes in between, uh -huh. run back upstairs. I get, I get work done. Yeah. No lazy Sundays for me. No lazy Sundays All right, me. temperature okay. wise, you're nice and warm and toasty right now. Yeah, if you're a man, you're just relaxing, Lay laying yeah. in bed. It's 32 degrees though. It's freezing right now, but we're really not as bad as we have been in years past. It definitely, especially the last. All right, West, cold now, but 53, that won't feel too bad. But we are working to learn new information this morning about a deadly crash that involved an SUV plunging nearly 63 feet in Plano. It happened around 6.30 last night near Jupiter Road and the George Bush Turnpike. This is News 8 Daybreak Sunday. Just about 8.30 on this Sunday morning. I'm Brandon Hamilton in for Carla Wade alongside meteorologist Wes Howe. Good morning to you. Hey, glad to have you here this morning as well. Just a tad bit chilly this morning. Just a tad. Just a tad. You know, we've been very fortunate. We haven't. You feeling lazy, Wes? You want to kick your feet up? <sighs> The cowboy boots. A little bit more this morning. Yeah, get the yeah. cowboy boots this morning. Earlier in the show, we talked about how a study <laughs> out of Indiana claims that men are very lazy on the weekends and women are the busiest on the weekends. I'm fed up about this. I don't agree. <laughs> I don't agree it. at all about this. You know what? We were talking, though, mm -hmm. during commercial breaks, I'll do dishes. Yeah. I'll cook some food, go outside, cut the grass, get well, back to the game, though. Let's so see what some I go of our in and other out. North Texans. Yes, you guys wrote in, sent us some great pictures here. So this one from Anna, she said, 
only on weekends question mark i'd say true all, all seven, seven days oh, no no, no. Okay. also lazy or not boys should not put their feet on the coffee table oh <laughs> smack yeah. our hands we're Mom bad boys there. sorry about that my husband <laughs> is